What's up guys, Joey626 or Joey Wisdom back again and I am here to talk about five ways to learn to be a better person. I know that I definitely need more work and I'm pretty sure that you need more work so I wanted to share these fun uh, ways to be better. So here we go. Number five is being compassionate and empathetic. I think we can all agree that if you don't have compassion then you can't build a foundation a positive foundation with another person and being empathetic if you don't feel for the other person and you don't put yourself in another person's shoes then you're not gonna be able to relate to them it's really important because some people complain oh um, nobody knows how I feel uh, nobody understands but you have to think about how probably most likely someone out there has it worse than you do so you have to put yourself in other people's shoes and realize that you know you have to be a certain way so that you could receive the same uh, stuff that you want from people number four is relating to people if you don't relate to people then I don't know what you're gonna do <laughs> uh, no but in all seriousness uh, relating to people if you don't relate to people then people are, are going to think that you don't care and then they're going to move on to other people. You have to relate to build friendship or build any relationship that you want with a person. It doesn't have to be a relationship or, you know, or just friendship. It's just with anybody relating to people really, then they'll know that you're there and that you understand. You, you know, you guys see eye to eye and that's important. Uh, number three is suggesting and not telling people what to do. Uh, this is something that is really important to me when I meet people because some people really think that they can say anything to you whenever they want. And that that isn't right because, I mean, you have to know the difference when it comes to, um, for example, with your family. It could be anybody. People um, are raised maybe with their family telling them what to do maybe your parents tell you what to do but and then you kind of uh, get that habit of doing the same thing with your relatives and then when you meet people you kind of do the same thing you can't be doing that because it's like who are you to tell a stranger what they should be doing with their life uh, because you you haven't been in their experience you don't know what they've gone through so you are not entitled to tell people what they need to be doing would you like it if someone told you what you should be doing in your life no i think it's 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 the tone of voice and you suggesting is so much better because here's here's i'm gonna compare you know for example i think you should do this maybe you should do this i suggest that maybe you could do this versus well maybe you should do this i told you and blah 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 and it will if you paid attention i think you should do that but you know so nobody wants to hear that shit i definitely don't so there's a difference it's it's the way that you tell people things and and that's how you that's how you become a better person uh number two is helping people this this has been a big important habit of mine of just helping my friends it doesn't matter who you are and i'm not telling you like uh, let someone borrow money, you know, of like $500. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, but it's like the small things. Like give someone a ride, buy someone lunch. Do like small favors. It doesn't have to be a big deal. And when you help people, especially when you don't expect something back, it, 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 it makes you feel good. It makes me feel good. Because I, whenever, every time I do help someone, it, it comes from the heart. I don't do it, you know, you know, for my own interest. I'm not expecting anything, you know, I don't want anything in return. I do it because I just want to do a good deed and I think more people should do that. And it sucks when someone does something for someone else. You know, maybe someone tells me, oh, I can't believe that person. I did all this for them and they're expecting the same. But remember that your love 
your caring ways are not the same as theirs. So don't get disappointed because not everyone thinks the same as you do. And the most important one is respect. Sometimes when you talk to someone or you meet someone, and if somebody disrespects you or insults you, don't try to do the same thing out of revenge and doing it to them because you don't gain from doing all that. Trust me, I, I've i been learning a lot. And and it sucks. Yeah, it sucks when someone disrespects you. It can be anybody, a family member, you know, especially family members, relatives, whatever. But, I mean, if someone disrespects you, the smartest way to find a solution to that be like why are you talking to me that way and why are you saying this to me when you start with a question then they're gonna stop and be like yeah why am I talking to them that way and why am I saying this and why am I disrespecting them you don't want to do the same thing that they're doing because it's you, you guys are gonna be like this all day long so and if they're like stubborn people and they don't care of what they're doing then you have to just ignore it, back away, and just just stay away from that person. Because remember that their disrespect, it has nothing to do with you. It has something to do with them and the way they feel. And it has to do something with their past experiences and how they've been treated in their life. This is something that I've learned and I, I take in consideration because um, I've been treated like shit before. I've been gone through a lot of bullshit and I've learned that it's it's not me. It's not my fault because a lot of people blame themselves for the way someone else treats them and it's not that. It's them. Maybe they've been treated like that their whole life and they just don't know how to treat a human. Especially when they've been kind and whatever. Tell me what you think. And if I've missed anything, write them down on the comments below. Share the video. And yes, I got a haircut. Do you like it? Um, I think it's a little tiny bit short, but it's going to grow. And I felt like I needed to change. And um, I don't have to put my hair in a ponytail, which was one thing that was really irritating me. And it's hot. So that's that. Uh, subscribe. I'll give you a second. And yeah, guys, follow me on uh, Instagram, Twitter. It's all in the bottom. Check it out. And my fan page is Joey TV. Like the page. And uh, that's that, guys. Have a great weekend. And be kind. Peace.